good player, good player. I think you guys have all seen him play in the in the in the last years, and he's a you know a player that came to MLS with a lot to prove. You know, young player, but came up through a good pedigree, going through the Man City system, then going to Holland and with Groningen, and then coming to us. But it's it's a guy that's very versatile. It's a guy that you know has international experience. And it's always important for a player to have played. I think it makes a difference if you've played in the league when you come new into a team because there's not that that uh, part of trying to figure out the, the league and the travel and all that type of stuff. So then aside from that, I personally know Albert, and he's an amazing person, good human being. He's going to first and foremost be a good person in the locker room. You know, he's going to be play for the team. Then his, his skills uh, speak for themselves. He's a technical player, um, guy that's goal dangerous, a guy that... Uh, can play the final pass and a guy that wants to help the team defend as well and that's always important. With so many uh, attacking players and it seems to me high quality attacking players, uh, how much fun is it, how much of a challenge is it to figure out how he fits into the puzzle? Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, you know, Brian's going to be very, or is very excited and it's, it's going to be, you know, it's, I, what I've seen from afar all the time is doesn't matter the players that Brian's gotten in the past, he figures out a way to put them together and, and, them, and get the best out of them, so I don't see this any different. You know, good players know how to adapt. Again, like I said, Albert's played international, and, and international, you got to defend. You know, no one goes out there and just attacks, so it's it's not like he doesn't know how to do it. And the way they finished last year, RSL, with under Pablo, they did a lot of man-oriented defending and asking for a lot of running from the guys, and he was part of all those games. So it's no one that we're going to question defensively. And, you know, you heard it from him. He wants to, he, he wants to win some championships, so I think you're going to get that extra from him to, to try to push. First, he's got to come in. You know, make the make the squad for the group, but it's gonna it's it's players that are gonna push them on a day to day. How did he affect games for you when you were coaching him? What what was, what did, how did how did you sort of see him kind of affect things for you? Yeah, he was he's really good at finding space. He understands space space awareness. He's really intelligent in that. You know, I think some people you know see some players where they go and find it and they're all over the place and asking for the ball. That's a strength of players. He's at times more patient. Lets the the ball. Uh, find him and, and he'll he'll figure out where the space is um, Knows when to take a touch knows when to take multiple touches knows when to run at people knows when he needs to get off of it So that for me is important. You know if you ask Brian, he'll always say he loves intelligent players And I think he he's got a hold of one I imagine you were able to give some personal references when they were asking about him But did you were you able to ever, like use your your relationship with him to sort of leverage the move? And, and were you able to sort of like sell him on the Sounders as well? You know what? We I stayed away from that. You know, I didn't want to be a, a big part of it. I did congratulate him when he got here, and and when there was, you know, I didn't take part in convincing him. I think he's he's been in the league long enough and knows players. I know he played with Callen, he, so he knows Callen, um, and he, you know he knows he's always liked the city from what I heard. And but you know, uh, he was when I told you know when I came here and he did ask you know a little bit of you know you enjoying over there for me. I was like yeah I, you know there's 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 that aspect of a new. And I, I said it from day one. There's new energy, new you know, new challenges that you need to continue to grow. And and I, you know, at the end of the day, he had to make a decision. And I think this is where he felt that was best for him. This thing at Seattle via the Real Salt Lake. ¿Qué fue la motivación para llegar aquí? ¿A quién? Dispense. A usted para llegar aquí. Para mí, yo tenía ya 12 años con el club y yo creo que ya era un buen tiempo de buscar algo nuevo para seguir creciendo. Yo para mí tengo mucho para crecer. Y no hay ni un mejor lugar de, de aprenderle al coach Brian y a gente como Preki, que también ha sido um, técnico de esta liga, de otras ligas de, de head coach. So, era para seguir creciendo. Y la oportunidad que se le ha dado para llegar a este club, ¿cómo piensa usted que se ve para los demás jugadores que entienden que vienen a, a, a traer a alguien que habla su idioma? Quieren traer a alguien que entiende la liga. ¿Qué dice? ¿Para mí o para el jugador? Para el club. Es importante de, porque viene gente de todo, todos los lugares y si uno puede comunicar con gente de su lenguaje antes de que tomen el tiempo para aprender la lenguaje de aquí, es importante. Yo creo que uno se siente un poquito más cómodo. Freddy, ¿cuáles son las características más importantes de Rusia? Yo sé que ya contestaste la siguiente pregunta en inglés, pero el que tú conocieras, que lo conocieras a él, ¿hizo esto más fácil para él? 
de verdad no puedo hablar por, para él, pero yo sabiendo sus calidades, yo creo que es alguien que nos puede aportar al equipo, que puede ayudar a, a, a poner su granito de, de arena al, al grupo. Tiene una técnica y como dije, de, eh, reconoce espacios muy bien y el timing de cuando dar pase y cuando él individual hacer sus situaciones. Y es alguien que hace muy buenas decisiones cuando tiene el balón a sus pies. There are so many players from last season's team back with the team this year. I think that's crucial, right? Um, you know, it's 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 a, it's four weeks. There's a lot of guys gone for international, so that's part of the challenge. But at the end of the day, I think this group and the, the staff that's obviously been here before me and the club has always done a pretty good job of of getting you know dealing with this with the early matches because of Concacaf or or whatever it may be, other tournaments that they've dealt with it well. And I don't think it'll be any different this year. Last couple, Freddie, guys. Yeah, I think I just, you know, try to keep working throughout the time, from watching games from the last year, you know, talking with coach how I could help him, um, you know, putting some sessions together, um, analyzing a little bit more of the players, and, and, and looking at last year when I came in, it was game after game after game. You know, there's there's a style of play here, there's a game model that. That, that Brian likes and I, I, I wanted to see it and, and take a look at it so I can see how I can then help in the, the group in training sessions or in the games and video and all that type. So I think it just gives me, I got to finally take a breath and understand the whole scenario and how it works here too so I can see if I can you know give the best I can to, to the group. Just the comfort that different MLS teams are playing different with the football, press half court press, just the comfort of having a veteran team, I know there's pieces you're coming into, that ability to to maybe absorb pressure and then counterattack and you without going specifically can you talk about the comfort of having veteran players yeah vet veteran players are always important in any team i think you got to have a right balance but more than anything about uh, you know veteran yes but I, this team a lot of these guys have been to m very important games championships yeah. Uh, semi-finals you know they've raised trophies I think that adds a, a, a mentality within the club that going into all games they feel they can compete and, and come out victorious and and that rubs off on, on players that come in I think anyone that comes in and speaking for myself there's a very high standard I'm not saying there's not high standards everywhere else but when you come into a place and they're constantly battling for trophies and, and, and getting into different tournaments you know like last year League's Cup and eliminating some top teams there's there's a quick understanding right away and feeling like oh shoot I better get on board or or, or, or you know and, and deal with the the pressures that come with it and try to give my best how I can help the team and big game experience Last one, guys. So, yeah uh, so and how comforting is it because it plays a big game experience how much is it easy to onboard in a full week kind of get because of the expectation of winning not just getting it right? yeah no I think I think you're gonna rely on that on that veteran you know there's guys that are international that takes a different level and so when they come back there's a little bit more comfortable they're used to playing Alex Roldan for example in Central America can deal with that that, that that environment you know Christian Jordan who've played in those environments that helps all the other players that, that are, are yet to come in because of international they, they're played in big games so that I think as a young player and experienced player you may lean towards that and it's nice to have someone in the locker room sitting by you that that will let you know that it's going to be okay and it's just another game so